Cambodia is coming back from the edge of the abyss. We've never seen in modern history, we haven't seen a culture completely eradicated and then come back like this. All of the educated people, the trained people, the doctors, the dentists, the architects, the lawyers, the engineers uh, were killed. Pol Pot really destroyed Cambodian to the ground. The trauma have left a big scar in Cambodian society. Cambodia in the early 1970s figured very prominently in U.S. politics, although we forget about that. The Kent State Massacre, for example, had to do with protests against not the war in Vietnam, but the U.S. incursion into Cambodia. The first articles of impeachment drawn against Richard Nixon had to do with the secret bombing of Cambodia, not with Watergate. You have to understand the history, but also the demography of the country. Half of the population is under 25 years old. 70% is under 35, 30 years old. So you have that massive youth generation coming into the time. The young look only forward, and they don't compare to the past that Cambodia has survived. They compare with other countries' present and future. You know what they were shouting at the demonstration. Hun Sen out. I think in Cambodia, you may have uh, a future that would be much different from the past and one that very few people have imagined.